Hello! My name is Miss Owens and I work at Wise Primary School and I'm a second grade teacher and I'm going to read a book to you this evening. The book that I chose is called Click Clack Moo Cows That Top by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. Here is the front cover of the book. It looks like we have some cows and they have a top rod. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to tie. All day long he hears, click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that tie? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. It looks like he has a note on his barn door from the cows. Let's see what it says. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh my goodness. So they are going to ask for electric blankets because they're cold. It was bad enough that um, the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Here's what their note said. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Look at that Farmer Brown. Oh my goodness, he is not happy with that note. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, we heard those cows busy at work. Click, clack. Moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day he got another note and it said, Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a note on the barn door and it said, closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, that top, hands on strike, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Oh my goodness, he is so angry. You can see him going down that hill. <gasps> Let's see what's gonna happen. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. So he's going to write them a note. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. So he's like the messenger. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. 
do what they're gonna say. See you. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Here's what it said. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. So they're gonna get the typewriter back only if he gives them electric blankets. Duck will bring it back to him. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Oh my goodness, look, you can see them with their blankets all curled up. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack. Click, clack, quack, click and clack, quack. Oh my goodness, so now Duck has the typewriter. He was supposed to just bring it back. Uh-oh. So you think they, got, they um, got their diving board? I think so. There's no text on this page, but I do see a diving board and I do see Duck jumping off of it. I think he learned that the cows got what they wanted, so he decided he was going to try to get what he wanted too, and it looks like it worked. So thank you all for listening to that wonderful book that we read by um, Doreen Cronin, and tune in next time for our next book. Thank you.